Whew. Oh wow. Don't mind this, I um, just got blown away outside a little bit. Um, basically, I'm on my way to get the Venus section done this morning. So, my hematologist said, think of it like a blood donation, except we can't donate your blood. <laughs> So, and then there's a whole heap of causes of secondary prostathenia, you know, heart disease, lung disease, mm -hmm. little cysts sitting on the kidneys and things releasing, EPO, and yeah. sleep up, yada, 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 yada. <laughs> and you mentioned medication, so there's a whole heap of stuff that we could be looking at there. Yeah. At the end of the day, regardless of the cause, we need to get your levels down. Okay. So, polycythemia just means too many red blood cells. Mm -hmm. um, the blood is basically. No, so we get it down to basics. Red blood cells, it's a solid part of your blood, plays with the liquid. It's meant to be in a fine balance. If you have too many red blood cells, the blood gets too thick and we start to worry when it's going around the small blood vessels that it wants to clog off. And you would have heard things like DVTs and people with ASPs going up the uh, lungs, um, heart attack strokes, all those things we want to obviously avoid. Yeah. So we want to thin the blood out. Yeah. The way in which we do that, we take off bags of blood, just like donating from Red Cross. Yeah. Every time we take off a bag of blood, what that does is it stimulates your bone marrow to make some more red blood cells. Mm -hmm. And every time the bone marrow makes another red blood cell, it chews up your iron, then we take off another bag and it's making more red blood cells to replace what's lost. It gets to a point where we make your iron fairly low and the bone marrow then goes, I've got no more iron to play with, so I'm going to slow the whole process down. Okay. So what we're going to be aiming to do with you basically Daniel is making you borderline iron deficient. Just, I'm doing what I was, but it, just to try and stop that bone marrow from making more, and just slow the whole thing down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Two types of polycythemia, basically primary, secondary. The primary one is that Jack 2 gene test we were talking about, where the bone marrow on its own is just going berserk. Mm -hmm. It's ignoring all the signals from the body and it's just making red blood cells. Okay. 90, probably 95, almost 99% of people who are you've got primary polycythemia will come up positive to that jack tar. Mm -hmm. And as it's secondary as all those other causes we talked about before. Mm -hmm. Look, the symptoms can be a bit weird. Headache, blurred vision, dizziness, itching after hot shower, aching limbs. Got all of that. All of that. <laughs> yeah, all so all you've got a fair, fair amount of those symptoms. Yeah. Okay. So you may find that that all improves as the things come down, if it's due to this. Mm -hmm. Because some of them are fairly vague sort of things. Mm -hmm. Do this today, we're in mid-November, can I get you back in a couple of weeks? I want to do roughly sort of every couple of weeks till we get down to where we want to be, and then we're going to stretch it right out. We're going to sort of do a combination of monitoring, um, and you, we may do some monitoring in here, but we may also just send the form to monitoring, and then we'll get the top back and then we give you a call saying, still looking good, send you out another form. It's pretty much the same, just pop a needle in the vein. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Set of tubes you're taking bags? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Instead of using the tourniquet, we use the blood pressure cuff um, to pump your arm up. 
Oh, that sounded a bit weird, but I kind of want to record it. <laughs> Is that so you can show your partner later so he passes out? Or? Yes, definitely. <laughs> no, um, I just kind of want to keep like a record for myself because I spent four years seeing different doctors and I got further in one appointment with Dr. Miles than I did in four years. Oh, really? So it's kind of just like a record for myself. Uh, so, um, Michelle, I've written down for two weeks. Mm -hmm. for Daniel, Daniel, if there's any concerns, give us, give us a yell. Yep. Um, it's much quicker next time. You sort of come in and then you leave the office sort of, you know, come away because you make sure you're doing okay. Once we get you down to where we want you to be in that humanity curriculum, that looking nice, this way, yeah. we will then, um, uh, then sort of stretch you out and do your levels and just, and just be guided by what God wants to tell us to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm usually a little bit slow. I'm exactly. So what I'm going to do is just have a bit of a bit more of a feel there. Just give your head a few more squeezes again for us. Sorry, sorry. And just relax it one foot tick. It's a bit hard to even. Sorry. That's fine, that's better. Yeah, yeah, that's much better. Okay, good. You feeling alright? Yeah, I'm okay. We can lay it flat if you want. Uh, no, it's okay. You cool? Yeah, yeah. I'm alright. Is it good? Well, that's true. Yeah. yeah, much better. Okay, cool. Thank you. Cool. No worries at all. Um, so that is right, right centre of left, pointing in 11. Okay. Oh, it's vibrating. Yeah, it, it does. It does that. Yeah, yeah, because of the flow. Oh, okay. it actually does that. It does a little, and you might even you sometimes almost even hear it. Yeah. 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 So just with that, just some gentle squeezes the whole time. Oh, squeeze yeah, it. Yeah, just yeah. Okay. And just relax the foot. Yeah. I'm guessing that's 130 on 70, that's what I'm saying. Three levels there. Yeah, I'm okay. My arm's a little bit. Numb. Sorry, it's going to be a little bit achy. Yeah. Sure. Can you get the crowbar out? Yeah. Mm. I know I'm weird recording it. Some people record their COVID test, the COVID really? um, testing, yeah. Ooh, no, that's You're not weird. that weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, no, the swab up the nose? Yeah. Charming. Mm, no. So Michelle, when they're in their what I'll get you to do is mm -hmm. just to press on there the whole time. So I yeah. just press. Yeah, that's it. What do you do? Just do that. Yeah. yeah. Keep that going. Otherwise, it's going to wander around. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm a little bit special. Now, what I'll do also next time, I'll make a note of you. If you're going to have that, I'll just want to have a look at your veins in general next time to see. Okay. You'll be a Dr. Speedy next time. It's something that's hard to tell you about here. Often, what you'll find with them is. Not only pressure, but often just rotating the hub slightly oh, one way or the other, okay. you know, as in sort of turning it one way or the other, can sometimes open the, um, the vein, the, well, it, it sort of turns the bevel into facing the right way sometimes. Mm -hmm. But now just put the pressure back on, I think. So how many bags do you have to take? So that that bag holds about between four or five hundred grams. Okay. Yeah, so that's all we're going to take. Oh, just one, one, just one, one bag. bag. Just one bag for you, so I think. You do want to walk out today, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, was just, I wasn't sure. Yeah, no, no, I was no, a bit no. worried for a second. No, no, that's it. That's okay. It. Just, the, just the one bag.
I mean, if you pushed it, you could probably take about 600 mils off. Yeah. It would look like a real ball then. Oh, yeah. far yeah. out. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just what, um, and, that's, and that's the bag they would use at the Red Cross or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. basically the same sort of thing. Okay. Yeah. All good. So, you have yourself? Yep. Yes, we'll go. Is he there, is he? Yep. All good. It's all wrapped up. Like a mummy. Let's get my boy got me some banana bread too. Oh, it's tennis. already see some bruising popping up right there. Fun. At least I have a small animal to keep me company.